Bromies, HGZ here. And if you're watching this video, you're in the zone. Yeah, right on, Bromy. HGZ here, and we're in the zone here, chilling out with Rico. And I'm um, very excited about giving you guys another update here. Um, let's start off to the right here. We just put this one in here. This is my HGZ Frosted Pies, and she is a beast. I pulled her out of the 3x3, three three. now you know why. Because this would have been the whole 3x3, three three, right here, this one plant. I did a lot of defoliation, I did some training that I learned from you Bromies out there, and she is looking fantastic. Or he, I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to find out. Anyway, it's been in here for about, I don't know, a week or so, and uh, should be starting to show sex. If usually the males are gonna come out first, so uh, I think this is good news that nothing's showing, or not that I know of. But if anything, if anything, I think I see some hairs down there popping out there, a single hair or two. So hopefully that's a female. Also saw something that looked like a male down here somewhere. But uh, we'll find out in a couple of days. So. But I'm very excited. This is a very nice plant. It's so beautiful. It's short and stocky and and just absolutely gorgeous. Giant fan leaves. She is just a beast and really enjoying it in here. Um, you know, that's why I had to get it out of the other the, uh, three by three because this will literally just eat up the whole three by three by itself. I got her anchored down here with these clothes hangers. I just clip them right to the bottom of the bucket there, pull them down, and uh, they have really spread out. I cleaned up all on, underneath that canopy, and she is a beauty. She's a beauty, girl, guys. So that's my HGZ Frosted Pies there. I'm hoping it's a female. We'll need some more seeds going, and uh, I just can't wait. Over to the left, here is my um, ice cream cake. Now this one is at the start of week three now, and it started finally to show some trichome production. The other one showed in two weeks, but hey man, look at that. You can't complain about this. Beginning of week three of flower, it's got nice trichome production and uh, looking absolutely great. This one has actually grown taller than the other one in the back. This one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a good guess. I, I call this, about 45 inches tall so i think it's done stretching i hope so she's a tall lanky girl very wide nose spacing not my particular phenotype but uh hopefully they just buds fatten up i get a lot of giant size you know medium size popcorn nuggets i could live with that any day as long as they're frosty but uh you know there's very little defoliating i mean you can see right down to the bottom. So uh, very, uh, very little defoliation. And one thing I gotta tell you guys, these things are drinking. I mean, drinking. I, I really can't keep up with it. I literally, I got two buckets here. Look, there's 10 gallons of nutrients and that'll be gone in a couple of days. And I have to keep it rotating. There's no such thing as an empty bucket here in the zone. If there's an empty bucket, I will have problems down the line. <laughs> I got to keep the flow going, you know, and I pre-mix my nutrients a couple of days in advance so everything is stabilized and I don't have to worry about pH rising or dropping or anything. This shit holds. So anyway, that's the big one in the back. That one is the, that's the pheno number one. That was the first one we planted. And let me just scoop this thing out of the way here or slide by. And she is freaking on fire, Gromies. Check this out. Woohoo! Look at that, man. Damn, girl. She is looking good. Cool. Oh, man, look at that shit. Wow. This is the beginning of week four on this. Now, this is a seven to eight week strain, and I can see why, man. <laughs> I don't know how long it could produce like this, but she is gorgeous, Romy's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm really happy. I have two clones of this one in the uh, three by three, and I'm really happy. I'm glad I didn't clone this one. I'm, I'm really happy I cloned this Vino. She is gorgeous. But again, they are drinking all my nutrients. 
over a gallon a day, Gromies. And but you know what? They keep doing this. They can drink all they want. <laughs> That's my East Cheese. Not East Cheesy. It's not my uh, not my strain, unfortunately. But I don't mention the company because they don't give give me anything. And I I've, <laughs> I've dealt with them all the years. They're really good genetics. But uh, I really don't think they like Americans too much back in the day. So let's just keep it at that. <laughs> anyway, let's head over to the 3x3, three three, see what's going on over okay, there. Okay, last but not least, the 3x3 three three is in the zone. <laughs> She's looking really good, Gromies. I'm really excited to give you this update. Um, I don't even know where to start. Oh, let's start here. Right here is the, uh, this is one of the clones to the wedding cake, the really nice one in the in the uh, flower room. This is the clone of it, and it's doing really, really good. Um, she really beasted out. <laughs> that thing's only been in there two weeks, and look at the damn size of it. It was like that big when we put it in virtually. So it's, uh, it's amazing how they're growing in here. I keep my lights blazing. Right now they're on. 50 percent but as soon as we're done it's going back up to 100. um in the back there that's the other clone that was the one that took the hit the uh rockwell cube went dry on it and uh it didn't like it too much but even the tops i was going to cut the top but even the tops now are starting to come back together it's all new growth coming in and uh you know we'll see what we're doing with her but uh within another week or two we're gonna have to get the, the, this one definitely gotta go so anyway, I don't know what to do with all these plants. It's getting warm outside now finally, so maybe they'll go outdoors, we'll see. Over to the left of it is my HGZ Frosted Pies. And uh, she's doing really good, really short, very stocky. Um, she's not a tall, tall plant to begin with, and that's how I bred them. And uh, just, you know, for indoors. And, uh, and she's doing what I bred her for, that's one of them there. And over here is the other one. And uh, you notice we got them all out. All of them are now in buckets and everything. And they're doing really good. Another shorty here. And uh, doing really good. Um, nothing like the other one in the room though. But uh, it is what it is. I'm really happy. It's a killer ass strain. I'm really proud of it. Anyway, to the left of that, you all remember this one. This is Tylo G gifted me this one. This is the Lemon Dunks. And Lemon Dunks is just beasting out. The le this plant here is a week older than this one. And this one's bigger already. She is just beasting out. We put them in a bucket here. I ran out of little ones. This is my starter bucket right here, DWC. Actually, I was gonna try to grow autos in this. But it's just a little bit too small. But we just put her in there. The roots are popping out. And she's just having a party. She's loving it. Got out of that ghetto ass, uh, my ghetto ass cloner cedar, whatever I, whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, last but not least, bang, Gromies, we got roots. <laughs> ah, check it out. Just as I said, set it and forget it. And we got roots. And I bet you those roots were in there last last week's update. But they were inside the rock wool growing, and they just didn't come out yet. But I just took the uh, bag out. I, 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 I poked all the leaves out of the bag, and I zipped it up again so it stays moist on both ends. Same thing with that one. That one dried out, but when I pulled that out of the bag, it looked perfect. This one right there looked perfect, just like, you know, just like this one. They had the leaves shriveled up a little bit. But uh, it's going to be fine. And she's got roots too, as you can see. And that's the old set it and forget it. Forget about it. Wait two weeks and you, you're, you're home. Easy freaking cloning system. That is 14 for 14, that method. Unbelievable. But uh, that is the HGZ Frosted Pies that's in the flower room now. Well, we're trying to determine the sex, so, uh, you know, we'll see if these are keepers or not. Hopefully it's a female, but we should know within a couple of days or so. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, 
things are going to be moving around a lot, especially at this growth rate. This one definitely ain't going to make it another week in here. So uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll put some outside. But anyway, we got the outdoor grow growing. And uh, I want to give you guys an update on that very shortly, okay? I'm HGZ, and I'm out of here. Stay frosty.